Hey, hi, welcome to Philadelphia International Airport. I'm Leah Douglas, the Director of Guest Experience, and I also head the Exhibitions Program here at the airport. Um, and I wanted to welcome you, and sorry that we couldn't have the gala for the University of City Arts League in person, but we're doing a virtual tour anyway so that you can uh, see what we currently have to offer. As probably many of you know, the Exhibitions Program solely features artwork by Philadelphia area artists and arts institutions, so that when we do have passengers here, um, they get to see a taste or a glimpse of what the city has to offer artistically, historically, and culturally. So I'm standing in front of uh, the exhibition here at Terminal E. The artwork is done by Philadelphia area artist Evan Lovett. And for this exhibition, I was really, really excited because what he's chosen to do is feature actual art, uh, employees from the airport, from various sectors. So including, we have uh, Southwest Airlines, we have TSA, we have Frontier, we have a chef from one of our concessionaires, and then we also have one of our own employees, uh, custodial employees. Um, it's an initiative that we've really tried to push here at the airport, is that we're all like one airport, one, one team working together, and in particular, this exhibition has really fit into the mission and the means of what we're heading towards uh, at, at the airport here today. This exhibition features the work of street artist Amberella. Here, Amberella created an installation called Follow Your Heart with colorful acrylic hearts that places your image within the phrases, you are magical and believe. Um, Aubrey, as you might know, is known for her street art. Um, it, it's all fiber based, but she also does some gallery work. And this exhibition, I think she really knocked it out of the ballpark because not only is it, um, poetry is very interesting, but the fact that we she added some fans and there's that really soft flutter, I think really brings the piece to life. Um, and this is the first time that she was able to do something like that. So now we're in front of an installation by Philly artist Lydia Ricci. And I believe I first came across her work on Instagram. Um, and as you can see, they're super tiny little sculptures, but they're all made out of scraps, particularly mostly paper. She creates these wonderful little objects of everyday household items, and some things are pretty classic. So now we're in Terminal A West, which is our beautiful international terminal, and I'm standing in front of the work by Campbell Smith. And like Lydia Ricci's, uh, he makes all of his work out of found scrap materials, uh, but unlike Lydia Ricci's, these are uh, monumental scale, as you can see. He's, his primary medium is uh, found cardboard that he finds, scavenges wherever he can, and then he turns them into these fabulous architectural structures. I'm standing in front of the Ben Franklin Bridge here, Billy's uh, Guild House, and then also um, a Westin Hotel, which is in Atlanta, Georgia. And he sources all of his um, imagery from the internet, so he's not actually uh, looking at the actual building or anything like that, or any kind of architectural drawing. Sadly, sort of, that this is the last exhibition that we were able to complete prior to having to work from home. This has been really fun for me. Um, I haven't been back. This is my first day back, and it's been really great to be able to share some of the things that we have with you. And I hope that everybody has a wonderful time on Saturday night celebrating the University of City Arts League. Thank you.